Hello everyone. This is the 11th part of the course Computer Programming in C++. And today we will be covering a very important topic, which is pointer and arrays. Um, pointers are considered a little bit tough, but actually they are very, very easy. So let's look at them. Before starting pointers, let's see what happens when a variable is created, what happens in the RAM. So let's say this is our RAM and um, let's say we created a variable with the data type integer. So we declared a variable int x. Now what happened in the RAM is a place to the variable x was allocated. So uh, you can say a box uh, was allocated to, to this variable x in the RAM. Now let's say I initialize this variable x as some value, let's say it's 10. What will happen is this 10 will be stored here in this place of x. And, and also uh, this place of x in RAM or this location in RAM definitely always have some address, some some uh, value with which we can refer it to. So let's say the address of this variable is, let's say it's 1010. Let's, for simplicity, let's just take this number uh, for no reason. Okay, so now if I want a variable to store this address, if I want a variable which can store this address, I have to use pointers. So pointers are nothing else. They are just a variable which can store the address of another variable. So pointers are variables which can store the address of another variable. So if I want to store the address of x, uh, store the address of x variable, I will have to make a pointer. Now to declare a pointer, what we do is we use static. Uh, so that's the syntax. So what we do is I will write int static. Uh, let's say we call this pointer p. We call this variable p. This is just a variable. So this is how I declare it. To, to make a pointer, we, we write the data type of pointer, the name of pointer, and static along with it. And to initialize it, I, I, what I want is I want uh, the address of x to be stored in p. So how will I initialize it? I will write p is equals to, and then I will use the address operator, which is and, m person, and is the address operator. I will write and, and then x. So this tells that whatever the address of uh, x is that will be stored in p. Uh, uh, also, let's see when I when I wrote this line int p, what happened? A variable also uh, p is a variable, so a variable um, was allocated some memory in the RAM. This is that location, and now this time this location is for p. And what will happen is when I wrote this line p equals to address of x. When I wrote this line, this one zero one zero, which was the address of x was stored in p at that moment and when the address of x got stored in p this variable we will say that this variable is now pointing towards x so this variable p is now pointing towards x that's why we call them pointers that's why that's why we say pointers because they point to another variable they point to another location in the memory that's why okay one more thing a very important thing. If I want uh, the variable p, the pointer p, to store the address of the variable x, the data type of both these variables must be same. So if I want a pointer to store integer, uh, uh, the address of integer variable, it should be int. You see? So, is, so if, if let's say there is another variable, let's say there is another variable char, maybe y, right? And I, I want a pointer, let's say we call this pointer Q, and I want it to store the address of Y. So the data type of this pointer must be char. The data type must be same. This is very important. It must be char, right? And then I can write easily Q is equals to address of Y. Now let's look at this whole thing more formally. So let's see. Pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable. Just that. It's that simple. It's a very easy thing. It's just a variable which stores the address of another variable. Just that. Now, whenever we study something, we, we to see two, three things. One is declaration. Second is initialization. And then we also see how to access uh, that variable. 
anyway so dec uh, to declare the pointer uh, we saw that too before but let's see that again first of all we write the data type and then the name of the pointer along with the static so the example is this int static p this is a pointer this is the declaration of a pointer to initialize we write the name of the pointer variable and then equals to and then address operator and uh, ampersand we write that and then the name of the variable whose address we want to be stored in uh, this pointer so the example is p equals to address of x now if i see out i simply see out p here which is my pointer this this p if i see out p right what will happen let let's see the last slide again If I see out p, right, what will happen? What will be uh, printed on screen? What will come on screen is 1010. P has the value 1010 in it. So that will be printed on screen and we don't want that. What we are interested in is this value, the value of x. Uh, we are not concerned with the address of x. We are concerned with the value of x, right? So there is no reason, there is no use to write just p on screen if if we write p in the c out the address of x will be printed we, we don't want that we want the value of x so for that what we do is we write c out static p now what will happen is whatever is present at the location p is pointing to that will be printed so whatever location p is pointed to the value of that will be printed right now let's see this to access or dereference a pointer by dereferencing we mean the value at that pointer right value at that address whichever is stored in p so the value at that address to print that we write static and there is a very interesting tip to remember this static actually means value at so just a tip to remember uh, think of static as value at so static p means value at p so not the address which is stored in p but the value at that address which is stored in p 